Oh. Oh. Oh, it's got an exhaust on it, too. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. Well, guys, if you were on yesterday's video and you voted for what powertrain to put in the Crown Vic, you probably already saw the leading results. Well, buy me a Mountain Dew and call me Dale. It looks like we're going with the Coyote 5 liter setup with a manual transmission. It's in a clear lead at 69%. Gosh, guys, looks like we're going to the dark side. There was a clear winner, which is a 5 liter Coyote Ford engine with a manual transmission. There's really no coming back for any of the other options. It looks like we're going with the Coyote swap, but that means we gotta find a car that has that, which is pretty much only a Mustang GT. We either have to buy the powertrain that someone already pulled out, or we can find a Mustang, which is exactly what we're going to look at today. Buy the whole Mustang, part a bunch of stuff out, and then pull the drivetrain out and computers for ourselves. We'll see, let's see if this Mustang is a good deal and uh, maybe we'll end up buying it. Today we are at Copart, where they sell crash wrecked beat up cars. And we're looking for something special. We've got a car in mind and uh, we're gonna try and get in and check it out. Look at all those wrecked cars out there. I can even see the Mustang we're trying to look at. We're looking at a Mustang GT today. It's got a five liter Coyote engine in it which we're gonna need for the Crown Vic. Got this sweet vest on. Hopefully it's a decent car. It says it runs and drives, and we need to get a good deal on it if we're gonna make this uh, Crown Vic project happen. This thing's a beast. Let's see if it's the right number. That's it. Damn, someone took the five liter emblem. Oh my God, dude. Oh my gosh. She's beat. Oh, dude. She's been in a gnarly one. Uh, they got it taped off. Damn, well. We should probably try and pop the hood. <laughs> yeah, oh sure. my gosh, what do you think they put behind here? Hopefully it's not like a computer or anything important. Oh, oh my Lanta, it's perfect. That is everything that we need. Oh, look at that. Yeah, someone's probably thinking about taking that. Oh, uh, it's a little broken. Is the block hit at all? No, no, definitely. Definitely has some clearance still. You can crack a block. The header could be a hair bent. Dude, she's she's a beast. Oh, what is this? Oh, shit. Dude, nitrous? it's got a nitrous solenoid on it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wonder if the nitrous insurance Nitrous Express. Got... Okay, well, it's, it's a nitrous, a it's got a nitrous express plate on it. <laughs> well, that explains why this thing's freaking wrecked. No way, the guy was probably leaving a car meet, hit the nitrous and wrecked the damn thing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hey, this thing's got a nitrous setup on it. It's got a nitrous setup yeah, it's on it. It's got nitrous on it. Really? Yeah. yeah, look, you can see right. This there, is a nitrous plate. plate right here. You can see the solenoid. See the solenoid? There's probably a bottle somewhere. There's probably a bottle in the trunk. <laughs> Actually, I would have grabbed that. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> it's probably on the door. Dude, that's hilarious. Pop the trunk or under the oh, my on, dude. It's tore up in here pretty bad, actually, Coop. I don't know where the trunk button would be. Yeah, you can't pop it from probably, right there. Probably oh, here's a key. key. Is power still hooked up? No. Holy crap. Yeah, can we get a jump box to try and start it? Damn, so it's, uh, it's pretty tore up in here. Look at how the dash straight up like bent in on the car. Oh man. Let's see how that transmission is. Oh, the transmission feels fine. It's going into all the gears and whatnot. That's good. We're gonna hook a jump box up to it, see if we can get it started. Can you believe that? A freaking nitrous setup on this thing. No way. So this is a 2015 Mustang. You wanna get the uh, 15 or plus year. Guess they have a, a stronger engine more balanced, better for high power, which we'll obviously be going for. Here, I'll hop in there and try and start it. Yeah, hit the buttons on the key now. There it goes. Um, oh, he's definitely moving oh, this. The, yep, the bottle was right there. See the hookups? Yep, he had a nitrous bottle back here. The oh, hookup for the bottle's right up there. Oh, he took the bottle. Took the bottle. Let me start her up. Is it yep. cool if we start it? Yeah. Okay. There's a key in there. Yeah. Oh man, what a piece of crap. Gotta get the clutch pushed in. Um, it says push clutch to start, but I've got the clutch pushed in. 
It's like. Hold on. Hold on, they're trying to reconnect the power. Damn, look at how the dash actually came up and smashed into the windshield. This thing's a little bit more damaged than we thought. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's got an exhaust on it, too. <laughs> oh, no way. Wow, it definitely has an exhaust. Or an exhaust leak of some sort of broken header or something, but it's loud. Oh wait, it's got a, does that say Borla? Yeah, those are Borla. It's got a Borla attack. It's got a Borla exhaust system on it. Damn. Let's, yeah, it's got a Borla exhaust on it. This guy put some money into this thing. He put an axle back on it and some yeah. nitrous. It's a killer combo right there. You know, it actually doesn't sound bad, really. Sounds like it runs really good. Yeah. Let me see if it'll go into gear. Question There's a is. Car in front of you, so. Yeah, I can't see anything out of this window either. I didn't think so. Oh yeah, she's cracked pretty right. much. Oh, the dash is beat. I'm gonna put it in gear. Dude, the dash is so tore up. Oh yeah, it's moving forward. Let's try reverse. Oh, that's that's that's. Oh, reverse is on the left in these. Yeah, it's definitely. reverse. Definitely a nice car. Man. Oh yeah, dude, this thing, this thing's actually in good shape. I think this actually could work. And you know what? With it being in such bad shape, we might get a better deal on it, Coop. All right, I'm gonna kill it. Very interesting, folks. Very, very interesting. This might be the one. This might be the one. Problem is we know we're buying a car that's probably already been tuned, has nitrous on it. Could be a really beat up engine as it is, but it's so new. How many miles did it have? I think 38,000, so it's hard to say. 37,000 miles, yeah. Hard to say how, how much abuse it's already taken before us. Being that it's nitrous, I mean, we could check the jet size, but it, it probably was, uh, wasn't that big, so. Being at stock cam and stock head, I mean, who knows? Who knows? He's got a wet kit on it too. Yeah, it's a nitrous express plate system. Yeah, so this is a nitrous express uh, wet plate system. So you got fuel here going into the fuel rail, and then you got your nitrous coming in from the other side. Not really a bad setup, but apparently it was too much for the guy to handle because he uh, got in a pretty bad wreck, unless he was hit. We don't really know. He could have been hit. Yeah, I'm sure someone will someone will recognize the car and let us know. All right, so this is a really good solid option. We think the car will probably run and drive just fine. We can at least strip everything off of it that's tore up over there and just drive it for a little while before we pull the drivetrain out, but she's pretty shot. At least we could sell the bumper and a couple other things, but so we'll see what this car goes for in the upcoming auction. It's really in, in uh, rough shape over there on that passenger side, but we really don't need to worry about that because we're gonna put this drivetrain in the Crown Vic. We uh, we just gotta wait and see. Gotta wait and see. Holy hell, we got a C7, a white C7 here. Damn. Aftermarket wheels? Yep, it's got some aftermarket wheels on it. Those aren't bad. Automatic. Interior is not a bad color. He's got the uh, sport seats. Convertible. This thing's not in bad shape. It's got an exhaust on it. Should we hear how it sounds? You mind if we start it? Yeah, they're in there. Let's hear how she sounds. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She makes some noise. Not bad. Where's it damaged? Yeah, looks pretty much bone stock. Yeah. yeah, she hasn't been touched under there. Something happened where he smoked, smoked a curb or who knows, but she's tore up down there. Otherwise, the car is in uh, decent condition. Probably one of those road barricade things. Yeah. Damn. Well, we got another C7 over here. Who knows what's wrong with this one? 
I don't see anything on this. Maybe flood damage? That'll do it for the wrecked Corvette section. <laughs> they got a wrecked Tesla here. That would actually be fun. We should Tesla swap something one day. So they've got a uh, 2017 Aston Martin here too that they're gonna show us. And they got that one inside. Who knows what happened there? Oh, damn. 531 miles. Holy crap. So this thing was in a, a flood actually. Damn. It's a really nice car too. All right, so the title on that Mustang used to be clear, but now it's a parts only title in Florida, which means you can't ever register it again. You can't rebuild it. You can literally only use the thing for parts, which is good for us because it might sell for lower. I was talking to uh, Chris from B is for Build and he was like, yeah, it's a good thing. If you're just using the parts off of it, you kind of want it to be a uh, destruction title. So I guess we'll wait for that car to go through the auction tomorrow and uh, hope it goes for really cheap. If it's cheap enough, like seven grand, I think we'll buy it. Cause we can part out some of the stuff and then the, uh, the drivetrain that's in that thing is worth about five grand as it is. We're gonna need the computers, the transmission, the engine. Seems like it was running good and uh, we'll see. I mean, I've never bought anything off Copart before, but I'm willing to give it a shot and I guess we'll just uh, see where it goes. But for now, thanks for watching, do it for Dale and we will see you later. Well, dang, hope you enjoyed your time on the Cletus McFarland YouTube channel. Check out some of our t-shirts. We've got the Do It For Dale t-shirt, the Do It For America t-shirt, and of course the Twin Turbskies t-shirt, all of which can be found in the link in the description below. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe and check out this video that we posted earlier this week.